So, this is Demon's Crest, and this is a game that I was looking forward to streaming a long time. Before I continue any further, take a minute to uh, just absorb this epic opening here. Give me a second to get it. Mm -hmm. gonna make me watch it. Gosh. Sorry. Yeah. Well, it's worth it. Fire! Hell Hellfire! Fire. <laughs> There's fire in my skin. It's like I may hit. Oh fuck! I was about to say guy. that. I was about to say that red, that dark red bit in the center looks like a fucking cr uh, chicken foot. I thought he was Miramon from Digimon at first. <laughs> I see. This guy, it must be the Demon Crest. <laughs> There we that go. looks we found like it. an Stream's edgy over. Batman. But then I'm again, Tish. We have yes. Then again, we have an edgy Batman, so. The edgy Batman. Th that, that, that's right. Also, the well, the Halloween version of Batman. That's more accurate. Hold on, what logic? Can Disney copy strike you for me singing Hellfire? <laughs> Not really. Pro okay. They probably will try, though. Knowing so, Disney, legend yeah. says the world was divided into two different lands. Again, One realm was Disney ruled by tries humans. To copyright a fucking human voice. And the other was ruled by demons. I mean, if Universal st if Universal um, Media tried to fucking copyright my karaoke Christmas present to my mother. Oh, yeah. Yes, that happened. Uh, six. Jedi, thank you for hosting. Look, it's the infinity infinity stones. I mean, or the chaos emeralds. It's I like mean, a I'm mixture probably, of both. Probably chaos agree emeralds. Your Discord didn't fucking hate me. Riley, I oh. will fucking mute you if you do that again. <laughs> oh, it actually is the wait. <laughs> oh yeah, people fought over the shit because special powers. Because special powers, something something take over. Hell, something, 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 something. Plot, something, something. Well, I mean, uh, fancy is like fancy paracausal MacGuffins are always something people want. It's just like ah, I can become god with this. Is for something, me. something, god complex. Something, something, Twitter. Also, I don't know if it's because <laughs> of something, the... something, social media. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the Avengers and the fact that, like, the Infinity Gauntlet is one of my favorite fictional weapons of all time, but I like the story concept of someone collecting different components to create a larger weapon out of them. Hmm. As a plotline. Yeah. I've seen it too many times to be impressed by it anymore. Although what I'm not a fan of, which is what they did in Avengers, is that only people like Thanos can actually use it without dying, and I'm just like... Well, fuck you. Well, to be fair, it nearly killed him. Uh, nearly being twice. Mm. And his and his hand was pretty much unusable after that. After he used it twice. Yeah. He could have just switched hands. Hmm. Uh. Better, he could just let it go. No frozen. <laughs> you beat me to it. I love that. <laughs> No ah. But the price of victory was high. The red demon was critically wounded. Oh no, I am wounded and scarred for life. Well, he it's fought to get everything. He fought to get everything until this happened. Kid Cos Kid Cosmic has thirteen stones of power as revealed in season two. What? I really need to watch Kid Cosmic. Y'all should watch Kid Cosmic, I swear to god. There's a lot of shows I really... I still I need to watch the new Arlo three. show. Every time I hear Arlo, all I can think of is the good dinosaur. Because it's the first time I've ever heard the name. Alligator boy. Yeah, the pure boy. Okay. So the guy, you guys, the so the guy you guys are talking the... about isn't the really annoying good dinosaur. You guys are no. talking about the good alligator boy. Mm -hmm. And okay. also probably the uh, the Nintendo cookie monster guy. Oh yeah, Arlo on YouTube. That guy, the the, the Muppet guy. I'm so a little mixed Arlo's about that guy. So many Arlos. Don't don't worry about it, Logic. There's so many. How Arlo's. is it that there are so many Arlos, but I have only there, heard of logic, the one? Logic, Logic, dear, it's it's fine. It's it, it's, it's so many yeah. Arlos. 
our lows are fine. Okay. <laughs> it's it's fine. But his, you his can brain is some melting. Arlo if you want. His brain is melting as the entire world is coming to an end. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh no, the the infinity stones. <laughs> Oh no, the Arlos are overtaking the world. The but I'm I don't days. feel so good, Mr. Arlo. The Infinity Arlos. Like, the space Arlo, the time Arlo, the reality Arlo, the soul Arlo, the mind Arlo, and it's Arlo. The Arlos crest. Arlo. Uh, in the meantime, here's another opening segment as soon as the game begins. Uh, of <laughs> course, it has to go through this stupid demo here. Come on. There. Mm. So this is one hell of a way to start by 16-bit uh, standard. So he's awakened in this uh, stadium here. I just had a moment of realization. What? Congratulations. Is, is Arlo going to be the new old menu for this stream? <laughs> we'll make it happen. Arlo is yeah. anti-orb menu. <laughs> Arlo menu. Yes. One day it's like one day we're gonna have to have like a poll or something, a battle between Arlo and Orb menu to see what. No, people no, it more. doesn't. Honey, it doesn't have to be a match. You know why? Because we can combine them together and make them the most powerful memes of all time for this fucking stream. Oh. The Orb Marlo. <laughs> the Orb Marlo. Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's some money for Urban Luna Corva. Big ass I know him fairly well from it's the biggest Discord, where Discord, where I'm a mom of dark wings. Rojaniel, thank you for donating. About his plight. Also, its skin is so, melting. Here's that, some cash you, for his probably sake. get that fixed. But yeah, you, you, but should, you should see a dermatologist. Guys, uh, yeah. by the way, Rojana, thank you for donating. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you, you, thank so you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your kind generosity. We're already getting started. Yeah. Let's get it started and ha! Let's get, Let's it, get it started in Arlo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and my me and my 90s ass are gonna be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> that's good 90s music. Fuck, that's damn it. There's good functioning tongues. Logic just doesn't have one. Meanwhile, this fucker yeah. won't die. I think he's dead now. <laughs> well, he's an undead dragon. Not anymore! He's a, <laughs> he's a nothing. He's a re-dead dragon. Your head, motherfucker. Oh, shit! What? Sorry, that's in my game? Oh, that's a hoglin. Oh, that's a hoglin. Oh, I'm fucked. A hoglin? What? Ow, fuck! A what? Oh, Jesus. She's playing Minecraft. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know, but what are hoglins? That, that's they're, terrifying. They're, they're horrifying monsters. Like I know, I know that there are piglins now, but what are like hoglin? Uh, okay, okay, you, okay. Let's start here. Pumbaa on yeah. steroids. If he was pissed off. Oh. oh. So moral of the story: never call those guys pig. Never, yeah. never go near those guys. He was on the fucking bridge that I need to go to to get to where I'm going. Roid it out, Pumbaa. That's that's the best way to put it. Thank you, Dogie. And nice. it's Dogie. Yes, I need help because this fucker was right on the bridge, and I'm scared. Ow! I still hear him. Oh no! On the topic of Minecraft, I wish there was a Minecraft story mode that wasn't Minecraft story mode. Yeah, I'm that would be fun. Like a good, I'm talking like a good Minecraft story mode. <laughs> That's right, an right, actual right. story that makes sense. Logic, you can that? never have too much story mode of Minecraft. Okay, are we talking about an actual good story mode or the story mode we ended up getting? Yes. An actual good one. <laughs> you can't have both. Minecraft story mode is really not that great. <laughs> it, it, but, I'm, but I'm it's still story fight. mode regardless if it's good or bad, though. Okay, so, like, I... Again, I... It was a Telltale Games thing, right? Minecraft Story Mode? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that makes this much easier. So, um, I don't... I wasn't a big fan of Telltale Games as a whole, with the exception of The Wolf Among Us. Because, it's like, to me, a lot of the Telltale Games had that, like, you know, friggin' The Illusion of Choice. 
where it's just like there are just so many things that result in the ah, same the stupid thing. And it's just well, like, oh, so nothing I did really matters. It that comes more from later games than um, because a lot of the a lot of the earlier games, the choices you make did affect what what sort of outcome you got. Yeah, it's like I know it's like some of them did have changes, like which characters are in certain scenes and who lives or dies. I'm just like, that's good, that's great. But I then just, you get to ones like the fucking what like is it? You Walking Dead game, Three. I just want to say, like, sorry for interrupting the conversation, but I just want to say, okay. Jedi Padawan Daniel, fuck you for mentioning that controversy. What? What did? Uh, uh, skip, skip it. We're not doing it. I, yeah. Every time, every time we've done this, it's resulted in a really unsatisfying conversation. So with with skipping, let's just for, just pretend it happened. Just pretend the conversation happened, chat. Also, a question for your guy. Fuck you for flipping my hoglin freak out. Fucking <laughs> ah ah. But yeah, no, this is like in like the Game of Thrones get one. They're just like, oh, you're playing as this kid, and regardless of the option you choose, you get fucking, you get stabbed in the neck. And it's just like, what was the point in the segment? Just show me, just show him getting stabbed in the neck. Because uh, it's like, I never played it, but I've seen other people I play it. And I know that. someone wasted so many tries trying to save the kid, only to realize, oh, you can't. They're, like, none of your choices mattered in that section. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> damn it. But interestingly enough, that's not my problem with Minecraft story oh. mode. Your problem is that it's not enough story mode. No, not friggin' my problem is that the story of Minecraft story mode isn't about Minecraft. It's friggin' Yeah, it's like Yeah It's like it's a story about like hacks and cheats and admins and like the uh, what are they called? Command blocks and these special gauntlets that give you admin powers and I'm just like Did you just make video game terminology? And it's like, did you just make video game terminology actual, like, just actual mechanics in what is supposed to be simulating a real world interpretation of Minecraft and also shattering the fourth wall to tell a story about rogue admins and people getting mad because somebody used a command block to kill the Ender Dragon, who isn't that hard to kill? But, Damn it. But logic, story mode. God, fuck. Fuck. The only, no, the, only on. interesting, the only interesting thing to come out of that was the Wither Storm. And I don't even like the Wither Storm. Yeah, Dougie was just commenting that um, Wither Storm was cool. Wither also, is, is like, Nether, I, on top of the fucking hoglet, I just went into a goddamn ghast. Anyways, like, um, <laughs> so who's this guy? Uh, I've watched your progress and I'm glad that I shall be the one to put it into your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. I will be your executioner. Yeah. Arma, you're a fake. You're not Arlo. <laughs> <laughs> we should call him Arlo the executioner instead of Arma. Arma, I swear down, if you don't fuck on, you're going to be Armaless. Haha. -ha. Also, hey, hey, Dev. Uh, we're just talking about Arlo. Arlo he will effect. will disarma you. Arlo, good movie. Yeah. Arlo, Arlo the puppet, Arlo though, the I'm not a big Arlo. fan of. Arlo the puppet? Oh, the Nintendo puppet show? Nintendo Wait, puppet show? No, it's there's a YouTube a channel where he talks about games. I know, but Wait, I meant that there's, one. Now that's there's a puppet one. called Arlo as well. Oh, yeah, that's the, no, that's the one I meant because um, I noticed that he talks a lot about Nintendo. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I've seen that he made a video about... Um, like how people would get into the Metroid series, and he neglects and actually goes against the idea of emulation and everything. It's like, yeah, I know that emulators are illegal and shit, but the FBI is not going to break down your door. And also, some and of these games don't even exist in a way that you can buy them anymore. So yeah, fuck exactly. Off. Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. if people are using emulators to play um, to play any Metroid games, this is Nintendo's fault. Yeah, because Nintendo refuses to port them back somehow. You know, maybe just recreate blame all the Nintendo, old. Nintendo, blame Nintendo. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Go on. Yeah. No, like maybe just do the old-fashioned way, just recreate the cartridges and shit. I mean, they had that whole classic. It's sold like hotcakes, did it not? So yeah. they know that people love this shit. 
Yeah. It's almost like, it's like, it's almost like Nintendo's legacy is, you know... Dipping its really toes. Really noteworthy. Into, yeah. Like, it, somebody said it best. Nintendo, they have great games, but they're... They have terrible business practices. Yep. Yeah. Not even terrible business sense. They have the sense to not make the stupid predatory decisions, and yet they do so anyway. And you can't even say because money, because they don't even release more content, and they stop themselves from releasing more content, which will net them more money. Like, a part of me believes that they just want us to focus on modern games and, like, get on with our lives instead of to rely on the past, but in actuality, well... don't... What? Well, isn't it the theory that the reason why they got rid of, like, the, um, the shit that they had in the other eShop stuff on the previous consoles because they wanted to incentivize people to get the online subscription so they could just, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's stupid. The that's theory, though. Yeah. And because even if it was true... It doesn't even include some of the games these people are after. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense either. And Which... it's the fact that they've been, like, trickling out, like, games from... Of course, the NES and the SNES, which I'm just like, yeah, okay, but can we actually get games from, like, N64, GameCube? Can I have Donkey yeah. Kong 64, please? No! Yeah. I but like I that would, game. Fuck you. Would, that game is an overloaded collectathon. Not to mention that fucking Beetle. Oh, God, the Beetle race. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even be that bad okay. in shape if they, like, remastered fucking Mario 64, but did it in the style of fucking Odyssey. They did it for, for the DS, but that's about it. They never actually imported it for other systems. No, I'm not even talking about a port, just a fucking, you know, up-to-date graphics Remaster. remake. Oh, remaster. I mean... Basically. Yeah, like I said, a remaster of I... Mario 64. <laughs> I... It's almost I don't like think that Nintendo... was the word I said, Def. I don't I'm think sorry, Nintendo would do that with Mario. I... Like, they'll do that with Zelda on occasion and shit, but I don't think I've ever heard them do, like, an HD remake of a Mario game. 